Hello there. My name is Jean-Paul Moerman, your favorite audio expert. I just finished upgrading an Argus console from one of my clients. And now I can take the time to talk a little bit about SMT2110. Actually, how to upgrade to SMT2110 existing systems. So, all these questions come together to a single one. Can we switch to a SMT2110 workflow? You'll get the answer in the following clip. Thanks for staying with me and continue this topic about how to switch uh, from TDM fiber to this ST2110 connectivity uh, within the StageTech uh, Nexus uh, system. At StageTech we have what we call the intergeneration uh, compatibility, which means that systems from even more than 10 years old can be upgraded to the actual technology. So actually meaning that the client doesn't have to upgrade his complete system. But now back to this ST2110 um, technology when ST2110 was published and as all uh, manufacturers we were ready to produce these uh, new boards for this kind of interconnectivity. And now it's time to dive in how to switch from TDM fibers to this ST2110. For quite some time now, there are Nexus interfaces in all audio over IP formats. Dante, Rabena, AES67, and SMT ST2110. However, the topic of this clip is how to switch the Nexus internode connectivity from TDM fiber to actual IP. Replacing TDM by TCP IP layer 3 is done by using the ST2110-31 format, transporting the same audio and control data. As a result, we can connect all Nexus nodes or base devices over a TCP IP switch, also known as a data center of a broadcast center or the central switch of an OB van. The setup here is just two base devices interconnected by fiber handling the classic stage tech protocol over TDM format. A laptop is connected and this is running the Nexus GUI. Opening Nexus service shows the channel capacity per fiber connection in between base devices and the fiber optical budget. Now we disconnect the main and redundant fibers. Logically, audio will interrupt and the GUI shows system messages while base devices turn red. Replacing the former fibers with two Ethernet connections will guarantee seamless protection switching according to ST2022-7. A standard switch is set up with two VPN domains to separate the red and blue network, thus establishing a redundant connection. This is all standard IT application, no rocket science involved. As Nexus XFIT boards have been configured to send the streams as soon as the connection is established, we continue to build up the connection. On the other end, we connect the second base device. In the GUI, opening the stream window will show the streams. As soon as the connections are detected, they will turn yellow for an active main or port 1. Logically, base devices turn from red to gray and audio will run. Yellow flashing will turn to green when the redundant stream becomes active. Opening the parameter window in Nexus even shows the diverse TCP IP related data as an IP address. The stream label and other important data are all transported within the existing Nexus UDP protocol. Also, in Nexus Service Software, you can find how many channels are transported in the ST2021-31 connection. The same numbers that were used before in the Fiber TDM connection show up here. We successfully replaced TDM fibers by IP streams. For the user, there's no difference in capacity or degradation in functionality when switching from one to the other. You saw how easy transition is from one technology to another from TDM to ST2110. Let's now dive a little deeper in how it's integrated into the StageTech technology. 
it should now be clear. We can connect stage tech equipment to an IP broadcast backbone. This means in reality, there are no restrictions in connectivity, operation, and control. In combination with our Avatus Network console, your transition to IP is now complete. A switch is no big deal. It's just changing the Nexus node's interconnecting format. Nexus has evolved with new technologies and standards. Since 2005, IP has been gradually put into use. This is resulting today in a stage tech all IP solution. Controlling the IP streams is according to ST2110 formats and STP, or Session Description Protocol parameters. So IP streams are easily managed for the incoming and outgoing streams. A crucial role in this transition to IP is held by the RIF67 and the XFIP boards. They interface Nexus to SEMT2110 formats. Also, they facilitate a hybrid solution with still some TDM present. But of course, a full IP functionality can easily be achieved. To sum it all up, this clip has shown you the system interconnectivity switchover while running active audio. The IP boards, which have been available for a few years already, create a smooth transition. Even systems that are more than 10 years old can be brought up to date. Take it you got a few answers now and give you a solution to switch your existing system to ST2110 or an IP environment. Stay tuned for future updates. I'm Jean-Paul Moerman. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. See you soon. Servus.